Nothing. And you? Pretty good. Um, so I was getting the idea, the, the thought occurred to me that the gas might be too old that I've been playing around with. Mm -hmm. I've never had very much in this tank. Like I, I can dump it out easily and rinse it out and all that kind of stuff. So I've only had like this much gas in there, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was out of a, a can that was mixed for the, the Vespas, you know? So I, I had that ratio in it. But that, that can's pretty old. And I, I realized that the fuel from here to here, if I would leave it connected, just in one day it would turn brown. And, you know, like bad gas. So I was thinking maybe the gas that I'm putting in there, if it's turning bad just in this in one day, that's why I'm not leaving it connected. Or, and this is empty now uh, and dry. I was thinking, you know, maybe it just didn't have any flammability anymore because I know that gas once it gets to a certain point isn't even flammable. Oh yeah. And then you using this long of a hose? Yeah. Yeah. That's the same. I mean that's as long as it's always been always been oh, since okay. it's been running, yeah. So what I have now is this I've still got the, the can that I've been using. <laughs> but then I've also got this is this has got the steel foil in it. Oh, like the Moto Mix? Yeah, like that I've been, that I got when I got this stuff. That'd be fine. So I it mean, would be good for like, okay, testing it yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is pretty new and it's ethanol free. The other gas is ethanol free also, but mm -hmm. it is probably over a year old in that can. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as they're tight, I got gas two years old that's still. Yeah. As long as it still is good and. That's just the. The only thing I could think of, you know, it's like racking my brain with this thing. Like it, it has fired a couple of times, and um, I, I've discovered. Like I was starting to think there was an issue with the float level. Like maybe it's just not getting the fuel. It, it's getting it to here when you undo that comes out, and then when you take this off and look at the float bowl, it's got like this much gas in it, and I see where the hole is that it needs to go through to get into the rest of it. And I don't know if it was getting to that point even. So I started to play around with the flow, like bending that thing so it goes up and down. You know, I never really looked at this setup here. Will it's, that just take a card box? You mean like from a Vespa? A non-oiler Vespa, will, will it? I think it's too, uh, too big. It is, okay. But I mean, uh, where's your, um... Cause I'm, I'm starting to just try to... <laughs> uh, we're gonna just, cause... Where's your oil bath thing? You wanna put that on and... Put some resistance on it. Well yeah, cause sometimes, like... You said you'll start up... And all that, yeah. Cause you're in the same boat, um... Did I put that on and... Cause now it, it still has, it's the same setup as the old Jetton, right? Is the old carb and stuff like that? Yeah, I looked okay. up like the actual stock settings or whatever of that carb. And um, I, I printed it out and I, I looked up the, um, all the, the jets and stuff to see if I've got the, the same you know if it was set up the same and I was going to start out with that here's this oh I think what when you got it from Richard and uh, Scott do you remember what how it was set up when you first got it from them yeah it was it, it basically had um 
because it ran for what about a year or two years. Yeah, yeah. That, I think yeah, that's so we'll just go with, yeah, we'll just go with that setup that was in there. So that's what's in there now, right? That original setup that ran before. Yeah, what, right. What's in there now is this list, which is not the stock, so it's what they had in it. Okay, that's what we're going to run is what they had in there. Yeah. Yeah, because you know that ran already. Right. Um, so go ahead and... I don't know if there's any oil. No, you don't need the oil for now. Okay. I never put... Uh, that way it won't be sucking so much air. Getting good spark though, or it, yeah, I, I tried that too. I mean, we can take it out and look again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a spare plug. I like. Uh, well, any plug will work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mean to see spark it? Plug. Yeah, yeah. Any plug, just throw any. Uh, Got good spark. Um, Let's see if it's wet. Yeah, it's. You want this? Can we just? Doesn't this just come off? I've no. never had it off no. before. Oh, okay. no, I can it's got. You can go that way. No, it's a little wet, but not bad though. Just give it uh, two pushes or two pulls, whatever. Go ahead and try to pull like a couple. Let's you, see what. You want the spark plug? Oh yeah, yeah. My bad. I, didn't, I forgot okay. all about that. That's good. Oh. and get a couple of
ahead and stop. Because it's got spar, but... Uh, Just the points, see where. You get a longer uh, screwdriver. Filler gauge, what we got this at last time? 17 or? I don't remember. I think somebody looked it up in a modern Vespa. Probably isn't real accurate anymore. It looks like well, no, it's that's right, but you just don't want to leave all that crap behind on the points. Are you looking at the top number or the bottom number? It should be like point one eight or point one seven, point one six. It's hard to read. Yeah, they are. 0.20. What, four millimeters? Whatever. Can you read any of those? No. <laughs> No, I can't. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> Let's see. This got any? No, they're uh, point five, point two seven. One thing that I did out of just weird desperation and just for a change of, instead of repetitive things, I <clears throat> took this off and the little hole where the gas goes in, I took the blower and stuck it on there and just blasted, blasted it. it and all the gas shot out of all the overflows and all that stuff and it like cleared all of the, the throughways and everything and it did actually fire a little bit after I did that. And that was like the only thing new that I've ever tried. <laughs> if it's getting good spark heat at the plug, shouldn't that be okay? Or that's not. Well, we might not be firing in, in the right. Either the timing or the points adjustments office where he's going. Yeah, that was at the, when I first got it, those guys came over with the contraption that they screwed into the into the uh, spark plug. Yeah, off the top dead center. Yeah, and then they readjusted the timing and stuff and then that was the magic that made it work at first.
You want to crawl under there, Robert, like you did last time? And yeah. Because I can't get the point smaller than what I want them. Yeah. I think, did I have them too tight? Just yeah, they were just a little too tight, but okay. now you I can't get them. You want to lay on a blanket? No, no, no. I'm going to change into my official uh, rag. It's getting to the point. I don't think it has too many washings left. <laughs> Swing that door. Oh, you're going Actually, all the way no. under. Actually, I can't. I don't think I can access it. From, I'll just uh, see if I can do it. Toilets keep breaking. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a few vultures looking for. I'm gonna tighten the screw just a little bit, and then I'm gonna let you check that. I I kind of like the drag on that, Brian. You see? That's good. So I couldn't get it to... Yeah, because there's just enough drag on it. Yeah, I went a little big, so that way... Yeah. But uh, it's not... See, the caliper is... I'm going to give it one. Now, Andrew, does this whole thing... Does Now, the timing, this whole thing moves, right? No. No. Only the... Uh, only the points? No, only the actuator. The okay. little fucking piece on the... Oh, the cam? Yeah, the cam, yeah. Because I thought before this little piece advanced somehow no when you close it yeah, okay uh, it just holds on the stator yeah okay let's see when i do that Here's where it's fine. Okay. I see it open and close. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and see what, hopefully you can get. He's been no, I I've, I've been only doing throttle. He has to throw the choke all the way. The gas is on, right? Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, cause if it's got gas, I can feel it coming out. Yeah. Um. What about any like air leaks? Like on there's like a seal that you replaced on that black bus for that one time that fly side seal. Yeah, but uh, no, it just doesn't seem like it wants to. Um, See how wet the plug is, it might be flooded. This is what happened to me once also. Is I did what we just did, minus I can't reach that to do put my hand over that, but um, after a few pulls took this out and it was went like that. Yeah, but it's not it's it was super wet. Yeah, let's try it like this and see if we got how good of a spark. Now we've got no spark. Yep. No spark now. And you got all the switches, I mean the key and everything. Yeah, I haven't okay. touched, touched any of it. So, okay, wait, stop. Let me try this. Now try it. Yeah, no spark now. So let's readjust these points again to see what. And I use the. I'm going to use 17. Mm -hmm. Should be a 40 foot, but it's close enough. Uh, Keep it at 17? Yeah. Okay. It's right at top of the center. Okay. No, no spark. Killed it. Do uh, twenty five then. Uh huh. And here I'll get to that center for you. Let me see that real quick. I want to see. Where are you at? It's just 
over 20. 22. Oh, he doesn't have a 25. So yeah, just do the 20. Two, I just wanna... They're not in order, I don't think, but on yeah, there. they should be. Well, they were in order so far that I and went through. Were... Yeah. Yeah. It just, like, you'll go to, there'll be, like, a real thin one and then a thick one. It doesn't look like it goes. Some of them have been stuck together. Like, it's just 17, then 18. Let's see what Drones, this is Andrew. I just saw that you texted here. Hmm? When you got here, you texted here. Mm hmm. I just saw that. Okay, see if he's got it. Now the whole plate will come off with just the one screw, right? I think so. Because you guys put the new points in. Let's see what's... Seems like that could affect it, wouldn't it? That whole thing being able to turn, or does it not turn? No, it doesn't. So I was trying to pull the whole <clears throat> thing off to uh, to look at the points, but I guess it doesn't pull off uh, as easy as I like it to.
come these never have a number nine? What's that? The metric wrenches. Because it's a rare, oh. it's only used on a couple of cars. Fiat's one, um, and Vespa's. Are these the only ones that use that? There's no 15 or 16 or 18. Yeah, 15's rare to, uh, setting does the uh, shall use or the, uh, are all the notepads different? Uh, I can't remember. I think we used to set it between 15 and 16, I think. But I mean, uh, are, there's no telling that this is really... Right. I just was wondering if all the, all the notepads were like the same, same gap. Pretty much. I mean, I found on the, the Pooks or the Gorellis, you know, and they used a Bosch ignition rather than this. Yeah, it was you just, I can't get them to No matter what I do, it seems like you just want to close. Even after I tighten them and pull the yeah. feeler gauge out. Yeah, I may have them a little too open. But how about we just try that? Yeah. Because it... watch when you pull that feeler gauge out. Watch what happens. See what happens. You got it back in. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I did it, wouldn't it come back? Still no spark. Yeah, nothing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two directions. Extremely, <laughs> obscenely open. <laughs> no. And then I'm gonna go. Really tight. That's obnoxious to the point where it might not ever close. Let's see. No, don't, don't pull just yet. I'm, my finger's in there. Plug in there, see. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of miles on that plug. Start it. <laughs> Nothing. Because well, one plug sparks, so I just want to make sure that. Yeah, all I'm getting is a slight tingle holding it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go the other direction. And just try to. Because now you're gonna pull the points off and mm -hmm. we'll clean them up a little bit and see. Yeah, that one here. Okay, I'm not using the thing at all. 
just they close down quite a bit now. Ready? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So we just pull points off and this thing used to be on there. It was like some kind of thing that they would rub against. I think it was Oh that's the felt. To keep it clean or something. Yeah. Is there one still on there? No. Yeah, that's the felt that helps, yeah. Yeah, pull the points off. You're gonna put that back on. Um you got all that small small flathead. Yes. Yeah, because this helps keep the cam clean and actually I think I got it. I got it with And this is the screw that held that on. Yeah. Dini. What do you need to clean that? Uh, a nail file. An emery board. So this one? Uh, Sam, yeah, but your wife doesn't have a... Because uh, that works the best because it hits both pads Contacts. at the same time. And then we would just use like a business card mm -hmm. to get any oil. Drag a business card through a few times. Are you going to put this... Yeah, because I was trying to pull the whole piece off, but it keeps catching on the cam and the seal. So I don't want to tap it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like points because they're such a pain in the ass bikes. So you throw a piece of cardboard down underneath in case the screw falls. It'd be easier to see. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, fucking rust bad here. They're not bad. I mean, look well, at they them. should be new. Well, they're new, but look how rusty. Mm -hmm. But it, it got spark. I mean, it's. It had. Yeah. Because he still has that new CDI still, right? That yeah. I sent. Yeah. It's, well, it's right there. Right? Well, no, because he said that one was working. I sent him a new one. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, because we weren't sure if that one. So I sent him a brand new one to check with it. Mm -hmm. I can get that. What's that? He he gave it back to me. It's in my tool bag. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just in case, you know, we'll do the points one more time. If not, then we'll because um, we know it's got new condenser. Condenser is not really gonna. Can't that yeah. No, you're just gonna knock off whatever high spots might be there or some of the rust. It rusted pretty good for that little short of time. Yeah, everything else rusted too, like all that. I sprayed all that down with WD-40 too. Yeah.
this up. Okay, there you go, there's your points, and then... What's that? A new one, just in case this one... I seen it last time, that way... Put the filth pad. Uh, it is a CDI or whatever they want to call it. Here's the screws that went to that one. Yeah. If you want, well, I uh, since you're not gapping them, if it's easier, take that one big screw out and you could turn that whole thing up and it to make it easier to see. I'll give you a, a brand new screw for the little wires. Oh, they come in the kit. For Probably. the condenser one? Oh, no, no, no. No, for it. Uh, when you get the points, they give you the little the little screws new. But this, this screw here. Yeah, the one that goes to the condenser, yeah. I don't know why. time I was listening to music on headphones while I was riding and I went to start the trip I was following Kevin and um, this song was on and when I hit play I didn't know it was on repeat the same song and I didn't get a chance to stop for like another 45 minutes <laughs> this song was repeating for forever man it drove me crazy it wasn't like I could manipulate any of the controls while I was riding. I was, I was stuck with what I had. I got one of those Google things that you talk to and mm -hmm. tell it to do stuff and ask it stuff that for free right. uh, Spotify we have a Spotify account and they just emailed and they were like we're giving these away limited time you know so mm -hmm. if you reply and while well, the supplies last we'll, we'll send it out you just have to pay shipping it was like four dollars or something so Buffy doesn't trust it right in, in the house because it yeah. listens to everything that's right so it's it's banished to the shed. So, well, right you there. know they provided it for free. Oops. I know so they, got, they got a motive. It was seriously sketchy. You know, yeah. definitely questionable. Yeah. Right. Why would they provide that just for free? Could be 
subliminal consequences. back. It is? Is it tingly? Okay, wait. Try... Oh, go. There you go, that plug's no good. Throw the fucking plug in the trash. How can you tell? Which plug? Okay, the go one again. you had in there before? Go again. The one we were... Throw the fucking plug. Biscuit. This one's thrown away. Just get it out of here. All right. Because there, there was one here, because we tested the one plug, and we kept trying to start it with that plug, and that plug didn't have spark. Okay, this is a very old plug. Okay. Um, gas gas still, still on. on yeah. yeah. Choke still on? Now it is. Yeah. Let's see what. Firing. Shut. Sure, he's hold on. I took the choke Yeah, just leave the choke on. Wait, wait, stop. Spark plug's not in. It's moving around. <laughs> Do you have any other um Yeah, this is a new one. I stashed it in here years ago. Well I've used it. <laughs> I've, I've used it since then. I've, I've used it properly. Yeah? I just didn't I didn't know if I replaced it. <laughs> I was hoping you still have one then. <laughs> but yeah, that is brand new. I would, I, wouldn't have thought okay. there was a new one. Uh, yeah, just give it one pull, see what... Okay. No, no spark now. Wait, it's sitting on here. Yeah, but spark should still... You even have to be on the metal? No, you should be able to set it down on its side. I thought I had to touch metal. Yeah, because the spark should still jump oh, okay. from here to here. But if you put it on metal, it'll, it'll jump onto the case. Uh, I don't know. What's involved in... Looks 
So we had it and lost it in a matter of like 10 pulls. Yeah. See, something's wrong with the, those points. You see, now the fueler gauge won't. I just put it to top dead center and try to put the fueler gauge in there. Oh, you got it in? Mm hmm. Okay. Because I didn't bend it, I just tried to put it straight in. and. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Give it just one. Yeah. Okay. What's involved in this? Uh, I mean, just a just one wire. Just screw that onto the. Okay. Uh, and then you're gonna have to undo the the white wire. Okay. See the white wire. Uh, you won't need yeah. the ground now? No, we're just going to check for spark. And then set that down wherever you can set her down. And maybe if you want to set it up there. So we're just going to check now to see if that is going bad. Mm -hmm. awesome. nope. So somewhere in the points points where you're getting wet or something to keep it from coming over so it's in the point system is where we're losing because they get adjusted for a minute and then after the pulls they stop working what's is the uh, for a real 125 150 what are the points are they, aren't they longer because you showed you showed me that Bajaj well, I gave you the sprint ones, right? Oh no, yeah. that was a condenser. Um, I thought it was out of a Bajaj, the one, the one fifty you had. Well, what points? Did you get points from me or no? I get these are just uh, the moped points, but yeah, I got them from SIP. But the, they're the moped points. Oh, they're way different. Um, mm -hmm. What points were originally on here? Do you still have them, or did you throw them well, away? The points that were originally on here were the moped points that went oh, Scott. That would be the yeah. If there were moped ones in there, probably the right. Um, I mean, that's what they were using. I and they didn't put them on there. They came like yeah, that. yeah. So we yeah. don't know. Well, that's what like I'm just... like this wasn't the correct thing. Mm -hmm. That most likely is the correct one, but well, yeah. I mean, there's different. Yeah, this is just probably a universal. Yeah, a cheap condenser one. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that one fit right in the hole. Um, okay. So yeah, go ahead and. Yeah, your switch is on, right? Up front? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't touched anything. So yeah, so now we know there's something going from the points. Is there a way of just unscrewing the wire from that switch? Well, no, I, he I, said I, it's... Okay. Uh, I remember before it stopped working altogether um, that it got to the point where the key didn't work anymore. It was just always on. So the key is on now. Well, I'm wondering there. if it's you're grounding out somewhere. Well, because we get 10 pulls mm -hmm. after each time and then it stops. So, mm -hmm. so we know we now, uh, I have sprint points at home. Um, Cause you pull those off, those look like P125 ones, kind of. Um, I think we can take them off again and clean them. Or just run the emery cloth through there again, just like that. Or just spin the... Uh, right there, top dead center. See the red line? Oh, somebody, somebody some, marked it. I didn't notice it till I, think it was, I was rolling. I think it was Scott. Mm -hmm. 
those guys, they marked it. I need to put a better mark on there, though. It's starting to wear off. Well, it's just right there above the AO. So when I see the AO, then I knew it's right in the range. But yeah, something's killing, like, Oh, is it? So go ahead and pull it. Just leave it like that. Oh, wait. Pull what? You just try and clean it first? Yeah, yeah. I ran the emery through it. Okay. I'm trying to do this. Do it by hand? Well, I'm just wondering... You know, does what does that gives it minus a couple degrees? Yeah, that's for fine tuning. I didn't want to get because I pulled it off and I was like, oh, it still moves a couple okay, degrees. That's, yeah, it'd be like the IT and the um, what is the other mark on the P200s? Check in first Faint, I got faint second time. Nothing that time. Yeah. So, points. And that was a new set. That's a new set. That you put in. But I'm, you thing. know, we're just really trying to figure how we can get consistent spark because right. of this. No, because now we had spark for 10 pulls. <laughs> then we found out that plug wasn't given a spark when we went to the other plug. So we heard it start and then it mm -hmm. just died. Mm -hmm. So just turn the uh, that forward. What? We'll advance the time and see what. Just this a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Or just loosen it. Will that thing turn? Yeah, it turns about six to eight degrees. Yeah, just leave it loose. Because you already got the points, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pull it all the way, loosen it just enough, and pull it forward. Let's see if we can. Just going all the way, and then we'll just inch it. Yeah, that's as far as we go. Yeah, go ahead and see if you got spark now. 